So a little bit about what abrasive media is, because if you've seen us in a lot of the different places that we work around town and doing a lot of the different kinds of things that we do, you might be like, why is there aerial and visual art and poetry and collaborative production? And the thing about abrasive media is we don't actually do all of those things. We build tools, we build shared resources, we build methods for collaboration. We build processes for community building. Um, we're working on facilitating an ecosystem in which artists are able to work with us at all sorts of different phases of their life, from the beginnings and growth onwards to building connections to other artists and other people in the community, to patrons, to audience members, um, into producing their work, into getting their work in front of people, into taking the creative power that we all have and using that to give back to our community. And one of the things that we're really exploring is that there is another level of our ecosystem that we haven't really explored, and that is rest. And rest is a really important part of this ecosystem that we're building. Because ultimately, we are not an arts organization. That is how we are often described, but that is not true. We are an artist's organization. We genuinely believe that if we help sustain the people that make the art, we will sustain the arts. What is an artist? It's just a person who makes art. It doesn't need to be any more sacred or profound, or it doesn't need to have a you know, heavy calling that goes with that, right? It's just a person who practices daily, who shares their work regularly, who tells their story through their creativity, and that's it. Anyone can be an artist, right? All you have to do is pick up the practice and begin and share your work and find your community. So this is really the heart of what Abrasive Media is and why we do all of the wonderful things that we've gotten to do from being able to host monthly art crawls and hosting hundreds of visual artists as well as performing and literary artists in our gallery. It's been a really beautiful, beautiful journey here for us at Houston Station and we are overwhelmed with gratitude for how much Gordon and Elizabeth Gilbreth from Houston Station have supported us. So all we do at Abrasive Media is we cultivate relationships, we build shared resources, and we develop tools that artists of all kinds, working at all different stages of their career, can utilize. So you can think about it like building blocks, right? Think about when you were little, playing with your building blocks. You didn't need all the fancy building blocks. So you have all the building blocks, and from there, you can create anything, right? Especially from the perspective of a kid, somebody who's playing with what is in front of them. You can build anything. And so our artists have definitely built anything with our tools, which is really, really cool. So from those building blocks, there's a lot of potential, and we actually believe that if, for basic media, there's more potential than if we were to go in and say we want this art form and we want this program and we want this idea to be done. Because artists, if you give them time, if you give them resources, if you give them space, and you help them collaborate, so rather than just sticking artists in a room and saying, magic is going to happen, but actually teaching people how to make magic with their art in their community.